we're on this plantation, we're on this, this dot, Will Dockery plantation, and we have these people playing the guitar in open G tuning or open D tuning, depending on, on the style of the song. Most of, the, most of them could move pretty easily between those open tunings because a lot of the principles um, are the same. And um, you'll hear this lick in a song. that lick? Who created that lick? Who knows? You can hear it in Charlie Patton's Moon Going Down. But Willie Brown recorded a song called Future Blues, which uses the same lick. And Sun House you recorded a song called uh, Jinx Blues. And later on, when he moved to New York, he recorded a song called Empire State Express Blues. All of them use that lick. It almost doesn't matter what you sing over it. The principle is that on the one part, you're sort of marching down the neck of the guitar from the third fret, second fret, first fret, open. So it could be, uh, good morning, blues, and blues I do you, blues I do you, do you do I say. When you get ready to go to the four chord, you simply bar at the fifth fret, blues. Right, on the first string, third, uh, I'm sorry, um, eighth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh, eight, seven, five, eight, seven, five. Back into the leg. Five chord. Four chord, back into the leg. And when you get there to that uh, first string, fifth fret, it effectively works like a turnaround, right? So um, just uh, sort of across the board. Sun House is, mm, I woke up this morning with the jinx around my Jinx around my, round my bed. You know I woke up this morning with the jinx around my bed. Well, you know I thought about you, baby, like to have killed me dead. Willie Brown. I can't tell my future, Lord. I, I can't tell my, I can't tell my. Tell my past, I can't tell my future. Lord, I can't tell my past. Well, it seems like every minute, sure gonna be my last. Well, you know, so you've got this sort of general blues template or chassis that you can build whatever you need to build on it. And that way, that allows this music to travel and to sort of go from artist to artist without anybody necessarily owning that lick. The idea is you own the poetry that goes over that lick, right? Um, notice that when we go to that one part, go to the four part, come back to that one part, we don't necessarily have to go back to this lick. Sometimes you'll hear, or sometimes you'll hear, it's really up to the musician because it's what? It's modular. Um, and, and, and so you'll hear these guys swap out that piece, that especially this part.
But that part could also be the one part. You could sing. Well, I woke up in the morning, blues walking like a man. You know, I woke up in the morning, blues walking like a man. Well, you know, the blues took me, baby, took me by my right hand. It's really up to you as a musician to decide how you want to stack this music together. It's almost like Lego. <laughs> if you think about it, you, you take the blocks and you build what you need to build you, to make the music what you need it to be. So that, if we call that something, you know, let's, let's call that the train, you know, the train rhythm right, for Empire State Express. But imagine... You get another idea for a song. You get an idea of what happens when you get a letter. And this is, this is Sunhouse's Death Letter Blues lick. This is the idea of not just playing it with your finger, but taking advantage of the slide, right? And you get this. So you're snapping the sixth string, you're playing the third string, but letting the, the fourth string ring, and then first string, you come down and catch it at the fifth fret. Right? So Sun House might use that over a song called The Death Letter Blues, but Howlin' Wolf uses it for Little Red Rooster. Robert Johnson uses it for Walking Blues. Again, it doesn't necessarily belong to any of them, but it belongs to all of them, right? Um, Sun House's Death Letter Blues, to me, is one of the, my favorite, one of the most intense blues around. You know, he's got images of a guy who gets a letter boarded in black to tell him the woman he loves is dead. So he uses it kind of like this. I got a letter this morning, how you ringing red? And it builds in intensity. So by the time you get to the end of the song, it's, it's just amazing that he's giving you all these wonderful or frightening images of grief, right? Um, Sunhouse was such an influential figure in that, in that space, in that place, that young Robert Johnson came along and saw um, Sunhouse playing slide and incorporated some of his music into his work, right? Um,
little bit later on, you get a young McKinley Morganfield who's in the same area. He sees Sunhouse. Sunhouse comes through, and he's playing at the same place uh, for three weeks. And, right, uh, Muddy Waters or young McKinley Morganfield is right there. And he picks up on that same idea, that same template. Well, sun in the morning, feel like blowing my home. I woke up and found my little Bernice was gone. Well, mm-hmm. you know I feel like blowing my home. This stuff really doesn't belong to anybody, but it belongs to everybody. So it becomes sort of the idea of music that you can draw on if you want that delta feel to know what's going on on that four chord, five chord. It's pretty interchangeable, but whatever you do. And sometimes for me, I will you know, sit there watching some mindless television thing, and I might just like work up a little lick that I like on that one part. anybody because I just made it up, right? The, the accessibility and the simplicity of the blues sort of allows it to be that free-flowing and adaptable. And I just did something there I should probably mention too. There's more than one way to make this four chord and this five chord. Of course, it's available as a bar, so you could slide into it. Well, just slide into it with your finger. Do a little figure there, but you can also do something. Your four chord looks like a C chord in standard tuning because you tuned all the strings around it, right? So the four chord's still there, and if you want the five chord, just move that middle finger over to the third string. You've got alternate ways, just like in standard, alternate ways of making your chord changes, and it just becomes a really nice way of experiencing that whole blues tradition, but in a different kind of way. Um, There are things you can do more easily in an open tuning than you can do in a standard. There are things you can do in standard that are more difficult to do in open tunings, but it's really nice to have both standard and open tunings in your toolkit.